Old Dads, a Bill Burr comedy that misses the mark. Bill Burr, a seasoned stand-up comedian known for his prickly humor, takes the director's chair in his debut film, Old Dads. This Netflix comedy attempts to tackle the challenges of aging masculinity, but it falls short, delivering an unfunny and often bitter experience. In the world of comedy, Burr is a known figure, celebrated for his unapologetic takes on life's quirks and absurdities. However, in Old Dads, his attempt to blend his comic sensibilities with the evolving concept of masculinity results in a less than stellar offering. The film revolves around three middle-aged friends, Jack Bill Burr, Connor Bobby Cannavale, and Mike Bokeem Woodbine. They find themselves reminiscing about the past, a supposed golden age when they could get away with anything. Their nostalgia is centered around a time before the rise of wokeness and what they perceive as the pussification of alpha males. These men were the co-founders of a throwback jersey retailer, a business they've now sold to a millennial CEO, Miles Robbins, who quickly uses cancel culture to push them out after they're caught dead naming Caitlyn Jenner. Now unemployed and burdened with the responsibilities of parenthood, they must adapt to their new reality or face a bleak future. This premise feels eerily familiar, echoing the coming-of-age narratives often explored by Judd Apatow. While Apatow's films often center around overgrown juveniles realizing the need to let go of immaturity, Old Dads attempts to adapt this concept to men in their 50s. Unfortunately, Bill Burr's script, co-authored with Ben Tischler, relies heavily on complaints and gripes that come across as more stale observations than fresh comedic material. Burr's character embodies the archetype of the grumpy, reactionary individual, who vents about everyday issues like electric scooters, school drop-off parking, and pronouns. While some of the humor hits the mark, much of it feels like recycled grievances found on social media. One of the film's more memorable moments is when Jack, surprisingly, turns the humor inward. A stranger agrees with his anti-vaping stance, but then launches into an offensive tirade about immigrants, only to punctuate it with a fart. This moment highlights how bitterness can push people away and, as suggested by a cautionary rideshare driver, can turn them into something akin to Bruce Dern. While Netflix executives may label Jack as crusty but benign, Burr's performance often leans more toward the crusty side. Though the film attempts to explore the challenges of aging masculinity, it struggles to provide depth and humor that can fully engage the audience. Jack's journey to retire his rage-fueled persona and find a new family dynamic echoes dilemmas faced by characters like Ari Gold from Entourage, the fear of death and the pressure to trade bro time for responsible husbandhood loom over Jack throughout the film. However, his character's growth is limited to realizing that curses are best muttered quietly rather than shouted at others. The film hints at a bleak future for Jack filled with more reasons to feel bewildered to and annoyed. His resolve to say nothing while privately fantasizing about the decline of modern culture like could provide exactly. a source of dark comedy. Exactly. However, exactly. Old Dads struggles to make this concept genuinely like funny. While sputtering impotent yeah. anger can be a comedic staple, it needs to be funnier than this to truly connect with the audience. In conclusion, Old Dads way. attempts to blend Bill Burr's comedic sensibilities with the challenges of aging masculinity like in a changing great. world. Okay. Remember, While it has moments of humor and really insight, don't. it falls short of delivering a truly original oh, and engaging on. comedic experience. Burr's character, Smell Jack, may have a bitter edge, best. but the film might. lacks the depth and humor. Needed to morning, fully engage the audience in this exploration of evolving masculinity and the passage of time. 